I'm gonna walk you through the steps I took to make my Phoenix Feather Leather Mask. Print the pattern out in portrait at actual size. Trim the edge and tape the two halves together. Select a piece of leather for your project. I usually use five ounce veg tan cowhide for my masks. Soak the leather in hot tap water until no more bubbles rise. Allow to dry a little bit. Trace over the pattern using a stylus or dull pencil to transfer the pattern to the leather. Cut the outline of the mask and the eyes out using a sharp knife. This is the trickiest part of this project. Once the leather has dried down somewhat, carve the feather markings using a swivel knife. Start shaping the mask into a face shape. I like to use a styrofoam head, but you can use your own face. You'll find the leather floppy at first, but the more it dries, the more detail it will hold. You can speed the drying process along with a hair dryer held at a distance from the leather. Once you are happy with the shape, set your mask up in a supported position and leave it to dry completely. I leave mine overnight. Letting the leather dry without moving it is what will allow it to stiffen up, so be patient and don't mess with it. Once the mask is completely dry and no longer cool to the touch, punch holes at each of the temples for the ties. I punched two on each side. I colored my mask using leather dye and a paintbrush, but there's lots of options. Acrylic paints also work well. You could add feathers or other adornments using glue. After my dye dried, I covered the mask with a leather finish. I like to use double elastic to secure my masks, but ribbon is also an option. When your mask is done, you are ready to rise from the ashes.